black holes have fascinated and baffled scientists and space enthusiasts for decades. But what really are they? Mysterious portals or the ultimate end? The fascination with the unknown has always captured the human imagination, but the idea of black holes is not as recent as you might think. In the late 18th century, two scientists, John Michel in England and Pierre-Simon Laplace in France, independently proposed the existence of dark stars. However, it wasn't until Albert Einstein and his theory of general relativity in 1915 that we began to understand the nature of these enigmatic objects. This theory predicted the existence of singularities in the fabric of space-time, regions, where the density of matter becomes infinite. However, the terminology black hole only became popular in the 1960s. Before that, they were referred to as collapsed stars or collapsing objects. Recently, with the detection of gravitational waves and direct observation of the event horizon, the existence of black holes is no longer just theoretical, but now a confirmed reality. As you look out over the vast universe, you might wonder, what is this dark spot where not even light seems to escape? This is the black hole, one of the most mysterious and fascinating phenomena in the cosmos. To start, imagine a place in space where gravity is so intense that nothing, not even light, can escape. At the center we have the singularity, a point of infinite density. Surrounding it is the event horizon, which is essentially the point of no return. Surrounding it is the ergosphere, a region where objects cannot remain in a fixed position. But how does a black hole form? It is believed that most black holes form when massive stars run out of fuel and collapse under their own gravity, leading to the birth of this enigmatic phenomenon. There are different types of black holes, categorized mainly by their mass. Stellar black holes are formed by the collapse of massive stars. In contrast, at the center of almost all large galaxies, including our Milky Way, we find supermassive black holes, which have masses millions or even billions of times greater than our Sun. And we still have the mysterious primordial black holes, theorized as remnants of the Big Bang. And while black holes are famous for devouring everything, they aren't completely black, thanks to the work of physicist Stephen Hawking. We know that they can emit a form of radiation known as Hawking radiation. This phenomenon suggests that black holes can lose mass and eventually evaporate over time, although this will take longer than the current age of the universe for sizable black holes. The visible outer edge of a black hole is known as the event horizon. It is the frontier beyond which nothing can escape, not even light. That's why we call him black. If you cross the event horizon, you would inevitably be destined to move toward the center regardless of your attempts to escape. Outside the event horizon, we find the ergosphere. This elliptical region has a unique quirk. Everything inside it is dragged along by the black hole's rotation, like water flowing down a drain. Here, energy can be extracted from the black hole, a concept proposed by physicist Roger Penrose, known as the Penrose process. At the heart of a black hole, right in the center, lies the singularity. It's a point where the laws of physics, as we know them, break down. Here, the curvature of space-time becomes infinite, and the density is incalculable. It is one of the greatest mysteries in cosmology, as Einstein's concepts of general relativity and quantum mechanics collide. Some black holes emit powerful jets of matter at speeds close to the speed of light, extending vast distances into space. These relativistic jets are generated by the interaction of magnetic fields with the accretion disk orbiting the black hole. Speaking of accretion disks, this is a glowing hot structure of gas and dust that spirals toward the event horizon. As matter falls towards the black hole, it heats up and emits X-rays, providing astronomers with a way to see and indirectly study black holes. When two black holes merge, they release powerful gravitational waves. These are ripples in the fabric of space-time that propagate throughout the universe. Detecting and studying these waves opened a new window to understanding black holes and the very nature of gravity. To begin our journey into the origin of black holes, we need to look to the stars, for that is where the story begins. Stars are giant spheres of gas, predominantly hydrogen, that burn in nuclear reactions. Inside a star, hydrogen is compressed and fused to form helium for the process of nuclear fusion. This fusion releases an immense amount of energy, producing the light and heat that we observe. Stars spend most of their lives in a precarious balance. Gravitational pulls everything inward while the pressure of energy released by fusion pushes outward. However, over time, the star runs out of fuel. For massive stars, when the fuel runs out, gravity wins that battle. 
In a cosmic cataclysm, the star implodes and then explodes in a supernova, hurling its outer layers into space. The core remaining after the supernova explosion is so dense that nothing can stop it from collapsing under its own gravity. If the core is massive enough, it will keep compressing until it becomes an infinitely small and dense point, the singularity. And so, enveloped by the event horizon, a black hole is born. But not all black holes are created equal. Stellar mass black holes are formed by the death of individual stars. But there are giants called supermassive black holes, found at the centers of galaxies, that have masses millions to billions times that of our Sun. They are believed to grow over time, accumulating matter and possibly merging with it. Other black holes. There is even an intriguing theory about primordial black holes. These black holes would not form from stars, but rather in the early stages of the universe, shortly after the Big Bang, due to density fluctuations in space-time. While we still don't have concrete evidence of these cosmic relics, researchers are looking for signs. To truly understand black holes, we need to delve into the revolutionary ideas of one of humanity's greatest geniuses, Albert Einstein. In 1915, Einstein introduced the general theory of relativity. He proposed that we should not think of gravity as an invisible force, as Isaac Newton had proposed, but rather as a bending in the very fabric of space and time caused by the presence of mass and energy. Imagine space-time as a stretched sheet. If you place a heavy object, like a bowling ball, in the middle, the sheet curves around it. Likewise, massive celestial bodies like the sun bend space-time around them. As we approach a black hole, this curvature becomes extremely pronounced. Light, which normally travels in a straight line, is bent so strongly by the black hole's intense gravity that it can be pulled towards it. This has surprising implications. Close to a black hole, the very notion of straight and curved is transformed. The path that light and other particles take is determined by the curved geometry of space and time around the black hole. The event horizon, which we discussed earlier, is a direct consequence of general relativity. It's the point of no return, where the curvature of space and time is so extreme that nothing, not even light, can escape. Einstein's theory of general relativity not only gave us a new understanding of gravity, it also predicted the existence of black holes, long before any observational evidence. These entities, which defy understanding, are vivid proof of the power and depth of Einstein's ideas. One of the most surprising predictions of the general theory of relativity is time dilation, a phenomenon that occurs in the vicinity of massive objects like black holes. Imagine two clocks, one close to a black hole and the other at a great distance from it. The clock closer to the black hole will move slower compared to the one farther away. To a distant observer, it looks like time is literally stretching out near the black hole. This effect is so extreme that, theoretically, an astronaut who orbited close to a black hole for a short time and then returned to Earth would find that much more time had passed to the people on Earth than for him. But the distortion is not just temporal. The space itself is also distorted. This can result in unexpected trajectories for objects moving close to a black hole. One of the most beautiful effects of this spatial distortion is the phenomenon known as gravitational lensing. When light from distant stars passes close to a black hole, its path is bent. This can result in duplicate images or rings of light, known as Einstein rings, which are visible to us. Some of you may remember the cinematic depiction of time dilation and the effects of gravity in interstellar. Although an artistic representation, the essence of these effects is based on solid scientific foundations. For many years, science fiction has enthralled us with the idea of black holes serving as portals to other universes or distant regions of our own cosmos. But is there any scientific basis for this fascinating idea? At the center of a black hole, there is what we call a singularity. It's a point of infinite density where the laws of physics, as we know them, seem to break down. From this conception came the idea of the wormhole, a kind of tunnel through space-time, connecting two distant points in the universe. These hypothetical tunnels could theoretically allow faster-than-light travel between their ends. Even if wormholes exist, there are formidable challenges to be faced. According to some theories, they would be unstable and quickly collapse unless a mysterious form of exotic matter kept them open. But it is critical to understand that the existence of wormholes is still in the realm of speculation and has not been proven. When we talk about black holes, we often think of them as ravenous devourers of the cosmos. However, its role in the universe is much more complex and multifaceted. Yes, they consume stars, gas, and even other black holes. And in doing so, 
They release tremendous energy that can send jets of matter at close to the speed of light across vast distances in space. But black holes are not just wreckers. They also play a key role in star formation. The intense gravity of black holes can clump gas and dust together, creating dense regions where new stars can be born. Along our journey of understanding black holes, we've discovered a lot, but as with any frontier of science, new discoveries just lead to more questions. As we look to the heavens, we are reminded that each discovery is both an answer and a doorway to more questions. And in their enigmatic darkness, black holes hold some of the greatest mysteries the universe has to offer. Thank you for joining us on this journey through space. If you liked it, don't forget to subscribe and leave a like. Until the next exploration.